it's time to finish off Monog 2, or at least that is what I'm I hope is going to happen during this recording session. So, let's do this thing. Big push to the end. I am ready to face the team from Takoro. As you wish, go to the Koei field. And I will call the match. Goodbye. Farewell. Yeah, nice little detail there when, uh, Tahu, when, uh, Vekama calls the match, Takua is gone because, well, he had to go to the Koli field to play the match. Some captain of the guard you are, Jala. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't shoot for it right before the timer goes because you can cause a glitch that will make, make it freeze if you do that. Okay. There, I did it without stalling. I did it legit that time. Time to move on to Pokora. I haven't talked to Anuwa yet, by accident, so time to go through Anuwa's dialogue. Welcome to Pokoro, Hali. I've heard that Shiraga no Kama chose you to be heart champion. You will find Huki and Hafu to be a great challenge. They have already beaten several other teams. I look forward to the match. Who are you? 
I am Anuwa, Taraga of Pokoro. Pokoro? Pokoro, the city of rock and sand. Home to stone rites and master crafters. Every etching in relief, every carven symbol, a tribute to Matanui. To Opohatu and the principle by which we live. Principle. Or the bricklayer and Gajakti, the hoor, contemplate often on what it means to be Pomator. They can tell you more. I'm ready to face the team from Pokoro. Then so it shall be. Go to the Koli field and I will call on my players. Goodbye. Good luck. And so, here we go. Toys are sinking, now I'm upset, and I got a voice Lincoln. Oh, now without a big fight, and my torrents are counting on a mask of light. Oh, the chrono is a brain. But without your brain, you're going insane. <laughs> this is frustrating. My insane bionicle brain. Oh. Gosh. <laughs> See without a brain. Wait out your stanima meter. <laughs> oh, you gotta do something, Yuki. You gotta do something. Stalling, give me the ball. Got him kidding me. Got no stamina. I guess this one's thrown. Too late, huh? Might as well. Make 
Richard. What a letdown. I thought it would be much better than this at this. Oh, it's ob horribly oblique. How does that work? Now, I got all I gotta do is stall somehow. Well, that's not stalling, but it helps. Out of Stanima. Well, that helped.
It begins again. without a break. Bad enough when you fail to score, but two of the goals that have been scored on me, I scored on myself. second cutscene here gets extremely irritating after pretty much the second time it happens. You're stalling me, right? I want to play again, but you're stalling me.
And it begins again. Gonna lose by one point where two of the scores I score are scored by me or scored by scored by myself. Oh, it goes around, comes around. My insane by Yonical Brain. Say without a prey. Going insane! Have no brain! Another three seconds of my life I will never get back.
going insane, have no brain. You're going down, boy. You better watch it. We're so oblique, how is that supposed to work? This program lets you get away with such oblique goals. A lot of close calls in there. Okay, now I just gotta get someone get Maku the Maku the ball, and then while Maku has the ball. Stand kind of close to Hookie and stay there. 
to stand close to Maku while she has the ball, basically. Or try to score a goal and score on myself. Ah! It came true somehow! <sighs> Would have been nice. You could, you know, not score on yourself. Okay, now. <laughs> Let Maku get the ball. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, I'm just stand here. Perfect. So the only team I have not beaten by this means is talk world. This is cheap. But at least in this one, I scored a goal. This is such a disappointing performance. I remember this being a lot easier from my quote-unquote childhood. So, why it was so difficult this time, I don't know. I guess I'm just not go as good at Coley as I used to be. Maybe 99 uh, accuracy as opposed to 95 makes a big difference. Yet, yeah, TP on the top, yeah, West Coast. It's Bionicle, East Coast, 2003 Unleashed Tour, yeah. Rolling into Yorktown, oh yeah, Bionicle.com, oh yeah. East Coast gonna break it down, like this. In the front of the Bionicle van, just touring the country as fast as we can. Skate parks we slam, as kids we jam. Man, I forgot this is your van, Dan. Now let's go to an island that we got, see. Six brothers trying to take it over the rock sheet. Makuda's thinking, toes are sinking, I'm mad now I got my boys Lincoln. Oh, now without a big fat, cause the torn's are counting on the mask of light, right? A chronic is a brain. Without your brain, you're going insane. And. Cool, now. So we finished, we haven't quite finished the Cooley tournament, we still have to play the championship, but the championship is just a cutscene, you don't actually have to play anything. So now that we've finished playing all the Cooley games, it's time to go on to the next task to finish the game, which I, the canonicity, I don't know, but according to my intuition would very much likely be not canon, um, and that is the crystals. So I've been holding off on the crystals till the final segment just to keep this thing organized. So just like at the very end, we finally do the crystals. Um, so we're going to start doing the crystals. Now I'm going to do the one in Pokoro first, just so I don't ever have to come back here. So let's get this one done. Okay, so this right here just looks like another one of those filler areas. One of those areas you have to walk through just to make the island seem large. But you might notice as I pan my cursor over here, it turns into that hand with a pointer finger. Which means I can click. And you can actually move to another area that way. Not so obvious at first, but you know, you, you go through these areas and you're, I mean, you might just have your mouse happen to pan over it. And that's how you notice this one. This is probably the easiest one to notice. So now we have this sign here. What does it say? Okay. The map to victory. 
Now, if you do the, quite a few of these, you'll notice there's a pattern with them. For each Koro, you put in the charm that corresponds to the principle of that Koro, the Koli skill of that Koro, and one or two of the three virtues. So, for Pokoro, that library contains creation, strategy, and then one or two of the three virtues, unity, duty, and destiny. Map to victory, though, is one of the easier riddles. It's most obviously strategy. So, strategy. And then door opens. So now we can go in. Um, and then there's another riddle. Pride of Sculptors. Well, I would presume that this is creation. Uh, based on the riddle. Let's see if I'm correct. Uh, and then we have another riddle. One for all. Well, that sounds like unity to me. So... I'm going to find the unity charm and see if that works. Okay. You have another riddle. St strength. S T R A O oh, Strategies Demise. No. D E S I G N S. Strategies Designs is what it says. Okay. This one is tricky. I think it's Destiny, if I remember correctly. Um. Yeah, that one's weird. Um, strategies, designs. But I would call, I would think Destiny would be Strategies Demise, honestly. That would be a much more easier to solve riddle. Okay, much more easy to solve. Uh, then we have this thing here. Apparently there's a ding dong tick dong 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 worthy thing. And so you pick it up, you have no idea what it does, but it seems important because it's, you know, gives you that achievement dance. And that's that. We got it. Let's move on. And now we won't have to ever come back to Powahi ever again. There are two more crystals you can do get before you play the championship. The reason why I say before you can play the championship is some of the crystals you can't get until after you play the championship because they require either the courage charm or the duty charm, which you have to get after you play the championship. That's the only way to get them. Um, and the ones you can get before the championship are the one we just got in Pokoro, the one in Gakoro, and the one in Kokoro. Um, but we're going to go do the championship now that we got the one in Pokoro. I just didn't want to go all the way back to Pokoro after the championship, in particular. There are so many long screens you have to walk across on the way to Pokoro. So I'd be wasting a lot of time that way. But I have to come back to Anukoro anyway, so... The rest of them, I have to go back that way anyway.
it's like so unnecessary, right? There's a there's a scene where the the bridge splits off. Then there's a one where it's straight on sitting the bridge tee off. Then you see a side view of the bridge with the background being uh, being like that central zone. And then you, it's like those you could have only had two scenes there instead of three. The one where you're looking straight on is the unnecessary, most unnecessary one. Okay, let's go talk to Vekama. Oh, Taku is back. Okay. Welcome back to Takoro, Holly. The Toa, Taraga, and all of Mata Nui have assembled within these walls to see the championship. Go now to the Koli field and face your destiny. I shall signal the championship to begin. Gathered. F what is it? We dedicate this holy field to the great spirit Mata Nui. Oh, I forgot how that part goes. <laughs> oh, and to the three virtues unity, duty, Destiny. We are thankful to the Great Spirit. For this time of peace and prosperity and this opportunity to build or something like that. You trained long and hard. Matanui sings your praises. It had to mock you and all the people of Gakoro. This is an important day. It also brings the discovery of the Mask of Light. Chikura and Jala are dispatched to find the seventh Toa, and all of Matanui is hopeful for their success in their mission. Because just because they lost in Koli, which means that they are good at everything else. Now forget your training. The Sacred Fire reveals that Koli is not all that Destiny is in store for you, and there's yet a role you have to play. Yes, you have to stow away in the Yusanui and so on, but. According to the plot of this game, that isn't actually it, but whatever. The duty charm, just kind of left behind by Takua there. We're just going to steal it. It's ours now, okay. Then we go to Jawler's hut. This does the store, not Jawler's hut. So, uh, don't have any coley balls to sell. We want to go here. And on the ground we find the Courage Charm. So then we leave. It's tempting to leave this way, which I haven't gone yet, because that leads to the places where you use both the Dirty Time char Duty Charm and the Courage Charm. However, if you do, you trigger a bug. So I'm not going to do it. That's how you mess up in Minog 2. So let's go to Gakoro next. Getting there. Took a lot longer to f defeat Pokoro and Koli that I wanted, but still getting there. That text during the, the uh during the championship goes way too fast. Um, like a child just trying to read it in their head um, would not think to know how fast they have to read it in their head until the first line goes by. Okay, keep going. Walk by the lake. Past another lake. Let's 
been a while since we've heard this background music. First we gotta go out the gate from the back side. Do we have to go through the gate? They have to go away from the gate from the front side. They could have done with done without the through the gate scene. But I guess maybe if the gate was closed, they would use it to close the gate. Anyway, let's keep going. So the uh where the wherever you find the crystal of purity in Gakoro, uh BSO1 they call it the Temple of Purity. It's somewhat difficult to find. It's probably the most difficult to find of the temples. And the temples tend to be found in some sort of expansive area of the of the Wahi. Um, you find the uh, c the uh, crystal of peace in the drifts, for example, and the crystal of prosperity in the great mine. And Gakoro has something like that that you might forget about. Um, and that's the, the ocean, right? That you f uh, find the Takia shark. And so what you might do... Oh, Nixie's not here. Um, to try to find the temple of... of purity... is just go through like every single one of those coordinates on in the ocean um, until you find one that gets you there. Um, and that's probably how most people would have done it back in 2003. But this is how you're supposed to do it. And it's kind of like ridiculous. So, who are you? I am Nixie. This is my private... Astro Laboratory. I am very busy studying the Wall of Stars. Do you? Who do you think you are? I'm Holly. I am Holly. Holly, the assistant flax maker. Now, where have I seen that name before? Well, I just won the Coley Championship. My name? Oh, I know. Hmm. W w what are you doing? I'm working on the formula. Something is stirring. I don't know what, but the stars are making strange patterns, and there are storms like in the old days. Formula? The stars are very precise. The first part is easy. The first letter of the patron Toa of Unity. Now that, of course, is the first letter of Galley's name, which is G. Um, now, if you already thought of this potentially being a coordinate as the solution, you'd go, oh, that means it's, you know, rho G. But, uh... I don't know how you would think of that necessarily. That, and then if you can figure out that it means rho G, and that this is a coordinate of a place in the ocean, or a place in the sea, then you can use that to narrow down the amount of coordinates you have to explore. If you could somehow think of that. Anyway, so the first, first is letter G. The second part is harder. Start by multiplying the villages by the principles they follow. So it's okay, there's six villages, there's six principles. You multiply them together, you get 36. Add the great spirit and his banished brother. So I go, okay, so that's 38. Because you have one for each, right? And also the Toa Kaita. So that's two, so that's 40. Finally, add the virtues. So that's, there's three virtues, so now I'm up to 43. Subtract one for the chronicler, which is Takua. So now I'm down to 42 and divide by the number of Toa. For which there are six, and you get G7. Except what you're supposed to do here is divide by seven, because Vekama said in his cutscene that, that they were looking for a seventh Toa. So you actually get, if you divide by seven, you get G6. Uh, but I wouldn't even know if you haven't got to the point where you got it wrong. Because people are supposed to be like, you get G7, and then you go to G7, there's nothing there. And you go, what? And then you learn there's seven Toa, and then you go, oh, then it must be G6. Anyway. 
Uh, what does it mean? I don't know. It's very strange. Anyway. So you're supposed to use Nixie's formula to calculate G6, the way I just described. Good luck. Well, I already did it, but... So let's go to coordinate, G6. Wait, does that require a widget? I have two widgets. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Imagine, like, you need a widget. Oh. <laughs> So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go try it. I never went to G7, so I don't know if if you go to G7, there's like an X on the ground or something to mark that people have already tried it and they didn't find anything. Oh, let me find another riddle door. All are one, or none. Well, that sounds like unity. So, unity. <laughs> it says door open over there on the left. Yeah, this whole time I've been recording it with like the, the sides of the of the field of view hanging out the ends, because that's just what I see, and you know why not record that? Anyway, don't cry, don't crop it just because like you see less than I see. Uh, from Unity derived, um, I presume that would be purity. I don't know how, but. From clear waters granted. And this one's really obscure. It's speed. But. Fine. And then you go this way. Um, and then you go this way. And then you do what the game kind of expects you to do. Which is go out here. And try to. But you can't pick up the crystal, there's no... You can't even see, you can see it, but there's no hand. You go, what's going on? I don't understand. I'm supposed to be able to pick up the crystal. And usually there's like, one of these is blue. So, I'll, this is an unlucky go at it where they're all, they're all soupy. But then somehow you notice that there's a little bridge here. But not on this side. Like, you don't even notice there's a door, because this is the same on both sides. You have to notice like, the little bridge on this left side here, and go that way. <laughs> and the way that it happened to be for me, where all of the waterfalls were soupy, there wasn't even that suggestion that you need to try to make them all something. Right? Like, usually it prompts you by making one of them clear and the rest soupy, so you think, hmm, maybe I need to somehow change the waterfalls. Anyway, let's change all the valves, because they were all soupy. And the idea is you don't know what order they're in, right? The tube scramble, so you have to like try, guess, and check. But because they were all wrong for me, I had to change. I just changed all of them. And now you can pick up the crystal. Two out of six done. Okay. And now you see that the uh, blue um, is taller. So actually changed this scene, uh, which is an, a detail. How the physics of that work, I don't know. It's like an air pocket. I presume if you stayed in there too long, you'd run out of O2.
Yes. Okay, now let's go to Onokoro. As fast as this game will let me. As fast as Hallie can walk across the screen. So there's many screens just getting through the village of Gakoro as there are traveling from one Koro to another. They definitely put a lot more effort into Gakoro, and then when they moved on to other Koros, they just kind of got lazier and lazier. Because Gakoro and Anukoro are the only two where you have characters have huts, and then they're not always home in their huts, they have other places they go. And Gakoro definitely has the most screens that take it up. And Gakoro and Anokoro, and Gakoro much more, much more so are the only ones that have things that grow and that you can harvest with tools. And have tools you can make. Alright, they just had these ideas for what you could do in a Koro and then as time went on they just kind of made the Koro simpler and simpler. All the characters stayed in the same place. There were no new tools, there were no new harvesting. There are fewer screens. The chart the temples became easier and easier to find. The places where you train each thing became easier and easier to find. I mean Pokorel where you train, and the temple is right out there in the open. And the uh, village is only composed of like a couple screens. Oh, while I'm while I'm here, just for fun, um, see what my final Coley stats were, and my commentary on what that means. Oh, why are you here? I think I want to talk to Nuparu, not you. I like a checkup. So my strength was 101. Okay. My speed was 31. As you can see from those uh, Pokoro matches, you kind of want more speed. Like, a speed of 50 is probably your ideal. Uh, your accuracy is 95, your stamina is 19, your willpower is 11, and my strategy was 21. Oh, I didn't know what that was, but apparently it was 21. It's completely useless, they never managed to steal the ball from Yuki, so... Even 21 strategy really meant not much. Everything was really pretty good except for the speed. It would have been helpful to have a lot more speed, basically. And of course, more accuracy. But uh, I ran into my physical limit on the accuracy game. I couldn't get any more accuracy. My, that was the problem, basically. I tried hard to get more, but couldn't. Same thing with... The same thing with the stamina, I reached a physical limit. I tried hard to get more, but couldn't. Given you can cheat the stamina game, but I didn't. I don't cheat things. With speed, there's no physical limit. You can just buy a bunch of... Once you... Like, I didn't buy any air bladders once I trained my stamina, but you can just buy air bladders for five cents... In, five cents? 
um, five widgets in air bladder in Gok Horo and then use those to go beyond the uh, your stamina limit. So how much speed you have isn't strictly limited by how much how well you can do with the stamina gain. You could buy air bladders with widgets you can get from flipping coley balls or whatnot and get even more speed. I was just too lazy to do that, so I just played Hyuki a bunch of times until I got lucky. Okay, so this place um, doesn't have riddles, you just have the, it's much easier as just the uh, symbol that's on the charm on the door. Um, and the animations are a lot more fancy. And it's like a tube. So we're gonna walk down an empty sewer pipe. Why the miners didn't mine this into out of existence, I don't know. I don't know the logistics of this. Okay, yeah, so I believe this one is the duty charm. Oh no, it's the stanima. Okay, we haven't got to that part yet. Okay, this is destiny. And, okay, and then this is duty. Um, okay. Oh. Huh. I've played a version of this where the duty charm had the wrong symbol. Wonder why this doesn't have well okay what you can download off the biomedia project right now for the built-in save feature is correct it doesn't have a mistake I've seen previously I've played versions of this uh, of Minog 2 where the uh, symbol on the door uh, for the duty charm in um, in the temple of prosperity is incorrect Of course, that was the same version where when you practiced with Anupu and Tepu, Anupu and Tepu would be frozen in place and couldn't move. The first time you practiced, before Stanima was released, right? If you if you practiced with them a second time, it would, they would then be able to move. Okay, once we manage to swim our way out of this, we move on to Kokoro. Keep walking.
Yeah, those stalagmites and stalactites are very not Manog esque. I don't know how they got away with making these nice, like, hewned out tunnels. These carved semicircle profile tunnels, and then in Manog 2, they decide, no, we're gonna have natural caves with stalactites and stalagmites. Maybe the old Fusa Trail just specifically goes through a natural cave. Maybe that's what they were going for. Okay, let's try to remember these things again. So where's the straightforward one take? So we we'll go, so, starts with right. Up. Right, up. Right, up, up. Right, up, up, down. Right, up, up, down, right. Right, up, up, down, right, up. Right, up, up, down, right, up, right. Right, up, up, down, right, up, right, up. Right, up, up, down, right, up, right, up, up. Three ups in a row. So, at this point, I started to lose track of these, but it's not periodic. Um, so that's good. Oh, took me exactly where I wanted to go. Isn't it nice when things just work? Okay. Uh, so this is this is one of those ones where it's not a sequence. They're all there, so you have to get them all correct at once. Anyway, um, the third virtue. Well, I mean, that riddle is pretty, uh, I mean, even G2, when they said duty, unity, destiny, it still, destiny was third. All right, they didn't mess that up. Okay, and there's no feedback for getting that right. Uh... Inner strength. Well, that one is obviously willpower. And this one, because it's the third one in Kokoro, it's Fate's Child, but we know that this must be...
Wait, Fate's Child? Um... Peace. Yeah, Fate's Child is Peace. That makes some sense. It's a bit obscure. Okay. And now we have the Crystal of Peace. Now let's walk all the way out of here. Lots of walking. It appears there isn't very many closed loops in drifts, or it's unlikely to get a closed loop because if you just keep walking straight and don't ever turn, uh, nor should you tend to end up somewhere eventually. Like, it's not periodic. Which of the three places, and there's only three places in the drifts you can, can end up, four including the starting position, those are the Temple of Peace, uh, the place where you pick up the willpower charm, and the uh, Kermit's house. Uh, he has a name I always forget. The Kermit, whose name I always forget, is Hut. Where you can train no power. Okay, one more screen, I believe. Correct. Okay. Now I gotta walk all the way to Lee Coral. There's no way I can speed Holly up, she only walks so fast. This one screen here is unnecessary. So is this one. <laughs> you can go from like this screen just to like looking at the rope ladder basically. And then this screen is also unnecessary. It looks very similar to the other one that's unnecessary. Okay. go to Matt Howe's tree house thing. <laughs> Dwelling place that doesn't agree in style with any previous media. Let's go up this. Which you have to think to click on. It's hard to think of. We have this intermediate screen where we can do nothing. 
Okay. So they're way up there. Uh, faith grants this. Well, it's probably not faith because it's grant. Faith grants it. So and it grants something. So I presume it's accuracy. Which just some advice from me. Um, having faith doesn't give you greater accuracy usually. It worked for David, but uh, we're not all David. <laughs> okay. In darkness, light. Is that faith? I would think that's faith, based on the symbol on the uh, charm. What are these ones? Word of Honor. Okay, so I presume that one is Duty. I remember these riddles are hard, so... Uh... Could mess this up. Duty. And then this one... Strength of... Numbers. That's gotta be Unity. That one's easy. And you get no feedback as to whether or not you got all four correct or not. So you nothing happens. So you go, okay, well nothing happened, I'll just try other combinations. And eventually, you just give up. And you just decide, well yeah, I could do this, and you decide to come back down. And then when you do so, if one of the things you guessed was correct, this vine, which previously did not extend all the way to the ground, extends all the way to the ground. Or the tree slice or whatever. Notice there's a tree inside a tree. How does that work? Okay, one more crystal. So I guess I guess it's like on a dais that's on this one tree inside Matthau's tree. So it does it belong to Matau? Do we just steal it out of Matau's tree? I don't know. part in the recording where your hard drive crashes, or your hard drive runs out of room, or does something just goes terribly, or, the, or you get attacked by a Rakshi. Well, hello there. Boom! And you get spit out over here, which we never gone before, which we could have, but I haven't because, well, it wouldn't advance the plot any. So this is where... Takua comes into um, Takoro in the uh, first program or the second program of Minog. Um, that's the uh, that uh, that bridge. Right, you also see it in um, Mask of Light, where it's a little bit more structured and more. Um, would the term be like less? I don't know, it's like prettier looking. 
Whereas in Legend of Matanui and in Minog, where it's more kind of freeform. Uh, so that this area right here, if you decide to go this way before um, you play the Koli Championship, um, when you actually have to walk across the bridge, you don't see the screen. This only appears after the championship. Um, so you just go from the previous screen to the next one, um, going this way. It's so going into this canyon, which you don't ever see in Minog. Um, as, as in Minog, there isn't really even a canyon here. It just opens right up to the beach. So this is kind of an addition specifically for this game. There's a strength charm, and then you can keep going. If you can think to click this way. And you wind up here. Again, you can still go here before the Koli Championship, I just never have. Okay, here's a, another riddle. They just reuse the format from Pokoro here. Uh, conquers fear. Well, I presume that's courage. I mean, what else is that? Pride of Guards. Well, I presume that's duty. Um, height of heart and limb. Oh, might of heart and limb, not height. It's an M, not an H. Okay, might of heart and limb. That's strength, obviously. Might of biceps and pecs and hamstrings. Okay, where is that? That's the last one I picked up. Okay, so this is the top of the list. There we go. Athens at the temple. Okay, keep going. And we're back to the start, the place where you start Minog. So it's supposed to be nostalgic or something. It's supposed to be a full circle sort of situation. Go up the steps we go up, up at the start of Minog. Go to this place. Well, can we go to the, wait, can we go to the telescope? We can. But you can't do anything with it. You can just look at it. The screen exists. Okay, this one is... Unity, duty... Accuracy. That would be faith. Unity, destiny, strategy. That's creation. Duty, um, Strength. That's courage. So these are all the charms you used besides the charm of the principle in each of the temples of each principle. Um, 
Okay, it's easy to remember these. Just be, it's easier to figure these out. This is uh, um, destiny and uh, willpower because the Koli skill of the same Koro is always in there. So, um, so they, they're trying to make this kind of a hard puzzle, but it's not a hard puzzle. So, duty, stanima, and destiny. Okay, so this be prosperity. Unity and speed, this must be purity. It's supposed to remind you of the beginning of the game. We see the cast over sky from the beginning of Mask of Light. Yours has been a hard road, Holly, but you have persevered. Not all the torrent thought you were worthy of the challenge. But I saw what was in your heart and believed in you. Your virtue unlocked the mystery of the stones and why they stood so long. <laughs> no, this is not why the stones have stood so long. But anyway, now they have gathered us all here. Tukua now walks among the great Toa. His role as chronicler is forfeit. It is time for that honor to pass on to another special torrent. It is your honor, Holly, from this day forth. The boats are being crafted, Chronicler. Soon we will depart for Metra Nui. <laughs> Ready yourself, for there are many adventures to come. It says Metra Nui. Not Metru Nui. Just a, just a black screen, is it? Well, that was Minog 2. Um, very disappointing ending. Of course, it's supposed to parallel, you know, Minog 1, where, you know, Takua is the, becomes, we learn Takua is the chronicler at the end. Well, you we say, well, Takua has been now a Toa, so we need a chronicler to replace it. So we replace the protagonist in the previous game's role with the protagonist in the next game's role. And they gave you like a preview of 2004 with a spelling error in it. Uh, I don't know if this will become sort of tra tra uh, tradition or not, but there's one more, more thing to do um, before I stop recording. <laughs> Okay, if you got this far, thank you for watching.